What's going on guys? It's Silver Zero Breaks here. And we're back with another box break. And today we got the 2006 and 2007 SP Authentic. Very excited about this product because I've actually never opened it before. So first time on this channel. But before I begin, let's go through the highlight card of the day. And that's from the 1819 SPA. And I was also lucky enough to get a Ovechkin autograph card for once. So there we go. Authentic moments of Alex Ovechkin. Gold Ink Auto too. So there we go. Yep. And uh, as for the movie recommendation of the day, I have Goon. That one is a fantastic movie and it's Canadian. And the best part, it has a lot of hockey. <laughs> um, so yeah, it's a, it's a really well-made movie. I enjoyed it. And uh, yeah, basically follows the journey of your enforcer with the heart of gold, as they like to describe it. So very, it's actually a pretty uh, star-studded movie too, featuring uh, Leah Schreiber, Sean William Scott's the uh, lead character. But then you also get other notable names in there as well. So lots of uh, Canadian content right here. But anyway, if you haven't seen it, go check it out. I was surprised to see this on the shelf in a store in Australia, so I actually picked it up just because. <laughs> I love hockey and I love a good movie too. So here we go. Box break of SP Authentic 2006-2007. If you like more card breaking content like this, please give it a thumbs up and subscribe to the channel. It definitely helps me out right here. And uh, yeah, let us begin with this box right here. So this has 24 packs per box with five cards per pack. And of course, we are looking for a future watch auto of Evgeny Malkin. But say that fails, it's still a pretty loaded class. You'll still find, you know, the, the likes of Phil Kessel, Big Buff, Paul Stasny, Anzi Kopitar, Shea Weber, you know, just to name a few. So lots of names to look forward to. And uh, yeah, chances are, it can be a very loaded box. So let the break begin. And this will go nicely with all the other SPAs I've opened. And I'm trying to make this a goal of mine to open as many SP authentic boxes from the past, given it is my favorite set overall. And uh, what do we have here? Today's action in tomorrow's card. Ooh. Right, okay. Well, that won't be relevant today, so anyway, on to the packs. And notice they're still using these uh, thinner sort of packs with only one uh, thick pack in the middle. Kind of like the uh, 0910 as well, so I think they've changed the layouts a little bit. Uh, but the box is a little bit thinner than the previous years, but probably just as thin as uh, the current year. So there you go. Just to give it a bit of a comparison point, I'll feature this right at the back so that you can just get a good glimpse of Cindy Crosby. Back when he was still the alternate captain. Maybe I'll save all the thick packs for last. Yeah, why not? Just in case, you know, I, I like doing that, saving all the thicker ones for later. And then we'll start off with uh, the other packs. So yeah, all right. Pack number one, let the break begin. Huh, we've got a future watch already spoiled at the back. <laughs> oh, these cards are really stuck together. Oh, that's, the, that's the downside about opening uh, old uh, packs. You do get the potential of cards just sticking to each other. And we kick things off with Oli the goalie. <laughs> Olaf Kolzig. Um, we got Merrick Svatos. Marion Gabrick. Back when he was with the Wild. Uh, we got Cam Ward. And we kick things off with a non-auto future watch of Lars Janssen. Number to 999. So I was surprised this was the last card in the in the pack right there. Kind of spoils it straight away. But we got our first future watch, but this is the non-auto one. So that's Lars Janssen. Pack number two. On the bright side, they're not as difficult to open as the uh, the current year release. And we have Patrick Marlowe, 
Oh, jeez, still stuck together. Uh, Sid, the kid. They're not. Okay, there we go. Marty St. Louis. We got uh, Roberto Luongo and Timu Solani. And that's the thing I forgot about the older sets is that they do have just standard base packs as well. On to pack number three. And yes, I am wearing my Ducks jersey today, despite the fact they are actually not even in the playoffs. <laughs> oh well, they can't even tank for Lafreniere because they only got the sixth overall pick. The Ducks have never picked first before, so there you go. Anyway, we kick things off with Mike Richards. Ah, ooh. Oh, we got our first auto right there. And that's a future watch auto of Robert Nielsen. Well, that's not the one I was hoping to get, so there we go. Future Watch Auto of Robert Nielsen. Well, that's the first one here. Hopefully there'll be a few more in the box. I did find that the older boxes tend to treat the collectors a bit better with the few extra cards, so that's our first Future Watch Auto, so that's spoiled it pretty quick. We have Saku Koivu. Funny enough, the jersey I'm wearing right now is Saku Koivu. We got Dion Phaneuf, or as I call him, Mr. Alicia Cuthbert, and Jumbo Joe. Well, that spoiled the first auto pretty quickly, but hopefully this will be one of those loaded boxes where you get like five autos, perhaps? <laughs> we shall see. All right, we got Owen Nolan. Brad Boys, also from Mississauga. Dominic Hasek. Thomas Vokun. And Patrice Bergeron. All right. Okay, what do we have here? These are really stuck together. All right, we have Joe Sakic, Marty Turco, Michael Pekka, Mark Recchi, and... We have a limited uh, of Brad Richards, back when he was still with the Tampa Bay Lightning, before he signed that utterly terrible contract. <laughs> well, good for him, bad for uh, <laughs> the team that signed him afterwards, but hey, whatever. And this is uh, number to 100, so that's a limited of Brad Richards. So that's pretty cool. At least he has a, you know, the Stanley Cup under his belt, so there we go. Brad Richards, limited. It's missing the auto, though. All right, on to the next pack. We got Ilya Kovalchuk. All right. We got moves like Yager. Oh, God, <laughs> it's all stuck together. Patrick Eliash. This one actually literally says Mr. Hockey. That's awesome, Gordy Howe. <laughs> I love that the card actually literally says Mr. Hockey. That's awesome. <laughs> All right, and we got, and we finished that off with Rick Nash, bitch. I swear, every time he goes out or introduces himself, he should actually say that. Just, you know, take a page off of uh, the Chappelle show. His name works, why not? We got Joffrey Lupel, former duck. Oh, nice. <laughs> well, we already explored a second uh, Future Watch Auto, but this one is Alexander Radulov. That's a pretty good one to get, actually. For some reason, I forgot to mention his name earlier, but yes, that is a very good Future Watch Auto to land. So I'm happy with that. This box is not a dud after all. Alex Radulov doing great things with the Dallas Stars right now, so there we go. Started off with a bit of a troubled beginnings, but uh, you know, after a bit of more seasoning in the KHL and whatnot, he has come back with a vengeance. So Alex Radulov doing some great things. So that's a great auto to get. All right, we got Ryan Miller, currently a duck. The great one. And we finish that off with Zdeno Chara. All right, on to the middle stack of cards now. So I've only gone through the left side and we got two autos. 
I hope we got more on the way. And that's why I find the older sets to be a bit more satisfying, because you don't run the risk of having just two autos and that's it. We have Cujo. And I actually forgot he played for the Coyotes at one point in his career. Uh, we got Vinny LeCave, Mario Lemieux, Eric Stahl, and Ovi right there. More cards stuck together. All right, we have Alex Dean, whom the Leafs gave up with for a bag of peanuts. Uh, Henrik Zetterberg, Nick Lidstrom, oh, stuck to something. Veza Toskala, who did start off pretty well for these Sharks and then just had a terrible, terrible run afterwards. Um, we got Rob Blake to finish off that pack. I meant to say terrible. I just couldn't pronounce the word for some reason. Anywho, ooh, Paul Korea. I like Paul Korea. Oh, wow. Okay. There we go. We got Kerry Lightning, Eric Lindros, Andrew Raycroft. Oh, man. Every time I see his name, you know the Leafs bet on the wrong guy. Uh, they should have kept Hooker Ask. Anyway, um, Peter Forsberg. And we finished this pack off with Paul Korea. Still looks better in a Ducks uniform. Just saying. <laughs> All right. So far, quite a few base packs. So let's hopefully get some more inserts out of here. All right. We have Jason Spezza. Oh, stuck. All right. Sergei Fedorov, who didn't really do much for the Ducks. Danny Healy, who also had a very short stint with the Ducks during his tail end of his career. Uh, we got Matt Sundin, and finishing that off with Pavel Datsuk. The challenges of opening older packs, you're definitely gonna get things that are stuck together. And oddly enough, the inserts come right at the very back of every pack, so it kind of spoils it all every time I uh, open it up. Anyway, we have the Boolean Wall, Martin Gerber, Rod Brendamore, doing great things coaching the bunch of jerks. <laughs> we have uh, Alex Tangay, and we have an SP Notables of Eddie Belfour. And this one's numbered to 9.99. There we go, Eddie Belfour when he played for the Panthers. So there we go. I'll just quickly put that in the sleeve and just leave that right there. All right, on to the next pack. Loosen these up first. We got Uncle Todd. Oh, geez, stuck. All right, Cristobal Huey. We got the King. Brandon Shanahan. And finishing off with Brandon Morrison. There we go. Also played for the Ducks at one point. Lots of people played for the Ducks, now that I think about it. All right. We have Many Legacy. And a sign of the times of Jonathan Chichu. Probably not the best one to get nowadays, but he did have a very awesome run at one point in his career. And then he just fell off the cliff. <laughs> so Jonathan Chichu, sign of the times. Pretty nice card. I love the teal color just because it is my favorite color. So it looks great on this card, but yeah. There we go, sign of the times of Jonathan Chichu. That's three autos in this box already. Okay, <laughs> we have Ryan Smith, Eddie Belfour once again, and Mike Medano. All right, so we're down to this last stack of cards on the right-hand side. Who knows, this might be a hot box. Can I get like six or seven autos somehow? Who knows, but we shall find out. All right, we got Peter Pruka, Shane Doan, we got Alfie, Alex Hemsky, and uh, SP Notables of Michael Ryder, number to 999. There we go. 
Michael Ryder SP Notables. All right. On to the next pack. So the thick packs here probably just have decoys, but if I'm very lucky, let's hope for a patch. All right. This pack seems a bit better. We got Miroslav Shatan, Chris Higgins, Milan Hayduk, Mark Andre Fleury, and a future watch of Rick Rubin. Don't really know what happened to him afterwards. I lost track. <laughs> so there we go. We got a future watch. And this one's a limited one because it's actually numbered to 100. So notice that it's uh, darker in color compared to, say, where's the other future watch non-auto that I had? So that's your future watch. I believe this is one of the black uh, parallels. You got your standard future watches, which are numbered to 999. So there we go. Yeah. Unless this is an update, I'm not sure. No, it's 0506, so there you go. That's another future watch card. I should probably sleeve this one up too for Lars Johnson. All right, on to the next pack. We have Bobby Orr, Marty Brodeur, Jerome McGinley, Jeremy Roenick, and Marion Hosa. Oh, that's a great Legends pack right there. <laughs> Even though it's all about that base. We have Doug Waite, Chris Pronger, Pavel Dimitra, Alex Frolov, and Alexei Yashin. And that Yashin trade, oh, that did not work out for New York at all. Ottawa, on the other hand, won that one quite easily. We have Mika Kuprasov. We have Pascal Leclerc, Jose Theodore, Ole Jokinen, and Chris Drury. Down to the last two packs right there before we get to the thick ones. And the sun is slowly setting on the outside, so it's getting dark in here. We have Michael Ryder. Olaf Kolzig, Merrick Svatos, Brad Richards, and Marion Gabrick. So we're starting to duplicate on some of these base packs right here. All right, we got Patty Marlowe once again, Sidney Crosby, Cam Ward, Jeff Carter, and Bobby Lou. All right, so on to the thick packs. And if there is a patch in one of these, I'll save that for last. But if there isn't, and it's just a decoy, I'll just gladly toss it somewhere in the back. <laughs> and this looks like just a decoy in here. So there we go. Uh, oh, some of these cards are just sticking. We got Brian Gionta. Danny Briere. Uh, yeah, that's a decoy with a bit of an advertisement. So there we go. Tuomo Rutu. Marcus Nasland and Martin Havlat. All right, second to last pack here. That's another thick pack and looks like another decoy. All right, we got Mika Kiprasov, Pascal Leclerc, Michael Ryder, you know what happens, Chris Drury and Brad Richards once again. So lots of duplicated base cards just from the one box right here. And looks like we don't have a patch, unfortunately. So, bummer. All right, we got Keith Kachuk. Oh, no, that's really stuck. Uh, Simon Gagne. Manny Fernandez. That goes. Jonathan Chichu. And finishing that off with Rick DiPietro. <laughs> oh, this guy. Uh, at least he got paid for not doing anything, right? <clears throat> there we go, Rick DiPietro. So overall, the box wasn't too great, but it's not bad either. Uh, we did get some nice inserts, um, including some nice SP notables. So 
We got Michael Ryder, Eddie Belfort, and a limited of Brad Richards. In terms of the non-auto future watches, we got these two fellas right here. Very nice looking cards though. And of course, in terms of the autos, Side of the Times, Jonathan Chichu, which would have been worth something back in the day when he was actually scoring goals. And then we got the future watch here as well of Robert Nielsen. And I think the hit of the box were probably this one. We got Alex Radulov, future watch auto. So there we go. Did not get a Malkin future watch auto, but at least I got something notable out of here. But yeah, let me know in the comments down below what you thought about this SP authentic box. My goal is to try to open one from sort of every year that I can find. Uh, so hopefully I'll have another one in the near future. But until then, that's it for the SP Authentic Box today. I hope you guys are staying safe and you're doing well out there. And uh, follow me on Instagram at Silver Zero Breaks for more content and updates and teasers. And if you want to chat about hockey, I'll be right there. So until the next video, take care, everyone. Bye.